Perplexity AI just released a really interesting new feature called Pages. It lets you use AI to quickly create articles and blog posts and automatically takes care of all the research, the writing. You can even add images and publish it. In this video, I'll show you a few ways you can use it for business and also go over a few things I think could improve. All right, let's get into it. I've recently been in the market for a new e-bike. So I've been watching a bunch of YouTube videos, reading reviews, and I was thinking, if I was in the business of selling these things, how well would Perplexity Pages do at producing an interesting product review slash sales material. So now I'm logged into Perplexity and let's create a page for one of those e-bikes that I liked. And how you do that is if you go to the library here and press the plus button, now it has an option for page. And in there, it's only really two things you have to do to get started. The first is tell it what this page is about. So we're gonna say an e-bike, the Hemiway A7 Pro, and let's give us a review. The next thing you have to choose is the audience. So you can just keep it generic for anyone or you can actually choose beginners or experts. So let's choose experts because we want a more technical, detailed review. Now Perplexity is going to go out and generate an article. And it does it two ways. The first thing it does is goes out to the internet and grabs all the data it can about this bike through its built-in search engine. Then next, once it gets that data back, all those sources, it actually passes it to an AI model to give you really good, high quality text. And you see it's filling in that in now. And this process to, to build this article takes about two minutes. Okay, so now that it's done, let's go back up to the top. So first it gives you this nice little banner image. It's not actually generating these with AI, it's actually searching the internet for images. In this case, it's actually found a YouTube thumbnail, which isn't really great. So you actually just change that. So click on change here. And you can either upload an image from your local computer, you can generate an image with AI, or you can look through all the ones that found on the internet. All right, that one looks better. And what it does on the right here is it automatically builds a navigation menu. So all the sections have a little quick little link so you can get down to the parts you're interested in, which is kind of nice. It also gives you options to play around a little bit with the layout. So you can just change the size of the header image, for example. Okay, let's take a look at more in depth at what it generated. So the introduction sounds pretty good, but then we get to assembly tips and tricks. If you actually read this, it's talking about something else. It's not the it's not about this e-bike. So this section is kind of useless. So what you can do in that case is just look at the sources where I got the information from. And we'll see here it's talking about productivity tips and assembling something for Warhammer 40K. I don't even know what that is. So this thing is not perfect by any means. But if you get a section like that, you can just go to the more down here and say delete section. So if you look at the battery life and charging options, now it's getting it correct again. It's got the right model of e-bike. It gives you really interesting information about the battery. If you look at the sources here, it's actually getting some of that from the manufacturer itself, which is really cool. You can, if you want, do some editing. So if you say edit here, you can change it from concise to detail, for example, and you can change the layout a little bit as well. You can also add images again, so you can search the internet for more images or add your own media here. What I wish you could do is more fine-tuned editing, so where you could maybe add your own text into here. I think that'll be really powerful. You can also select text and add a custom instruction, which does some rewriting for you, but you're still always relying on the AI to do that writing. You can't really put your own edits in here. And you can also add your own sections. So let's add a section, let's just say, let's just say first-hand reviews from Reddit. Let's see what it does with that. Now one thing to note in the pages, you can't tell it just to look at certain sites like you can on some of the other parts of Perplexity. Like you couldn't say just look at Reddit or just look at YouTube. It kind of takes all that away from you and just does what it needs to do. Which I wish you had did have more customization there. But all in all, in a couple of minutes, I have a pretty good article here. And like I said, I've been doing a lot of research myself on this bike and it's done a really good job of just summarizing really the key things. For example, here, talks about how it's at 77 pounds, the A7 Pro is significantly heavier than most other commuter options due to its full suspension frame and larger battery. So really good stuff, as always with AI, really well written. And then when you're happy with it, you can actually publish it. So if you go here and just say publish, you can just copy a link. You can link this then on social media and have other people come in and, and view it. So one problem I do see though with something like this is that you couldn't put an affiliate link on it because like I was saying earlier, you can't edit the page. Like you can't manually type into the article. That does limit it somewhat for business. Another limitation, if I go back to edit here and I say change the, the picture, you can see a lot of these pictures are coming back from like a YouTube thumbnail or from the manufacturer's website, which is fine. But if you're trying to use this for business, there are some copyright concerns here. But besides those few things, it, it really works well. It's really powerful. You get really concise, well-written articles. They're actually pretty interesting to read. I think this is really the feature for content creation with AI now. If I could just add in some more ability to manually edit it, 
I think it'd be a real game changer here. And also having the ability to export it and put it on your own blog or website would be pretty cool as well. If you like videos like this, make sure you subscribe. Hope you're having an amazing day and I'll talk to you in the next one.